Hey everyone, Tech Dad here, and in today's video, I'm going to give you three quick tips on how to use and change the new mouse pointer in iPadOS 26. These tips include how to change that ugly circle pointer to the new arrow pointer. A lot of people on my channel have been asking about that. They're saying, Tech Dad, I have the ugly circle. How do I fix it? I'm going to show you that. All right, let's get into it. All right, so first, let's talk about how to change the mouse pointer size. So if you navigate to settings and you find accessibility, you can scroll down and you'll see pointer pointer control and so you can select pointer control and then you have pointer size so you can crank this guy all the way up so it's massive and enormous or you can shrink it all the way down so it's real tiny whatever your preference I like to set it to like right here okay the second tip I want to talk about is increasing the contrast I really like this feature because it makes your mouse pointer just a little bit darker so if you turn that guy on you get a little bit of a darker cursor and I think it's just easier to see especially when you're doing tutorials or you're trying to demonstrate something for folks so if you're doing that at work increase the contrast of your mouse pointer. A little bonus tip is you can actually put a color ring around the pointer. So if you see color here, you can select none or you can select another color like blue or red or green and so on. And you can even change the border width so you can make it a little bit smaller if it's too obnoxious and large. If you crank it all the way up, you can practically not see the cursor anymore. You just see the color. I actually don't like having a color border, so I'm just going to stick with none. Okay, Tech Dad, how do you change the circle to the pointer? That's what we're really here for. Well, to do that, it's actually not in the pointer control area of settings at all. You have to go back out to accessibility and you actually go to touch and right here it, there is assistive touch and if assistive touch is turned on you get this circle icon and all the settings still work to change the cursor size. So if you go back to pointer control you can still change the size of the circle if you want. You can make it massive but if you don't want the circle make sure assistive touch is turned off and you'll get the arrow pointer. You'll be a very happy person. All right, that's my tips on the new iPadOS 26 pointer. If this helped you out, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.